70% of all preschoolers that drown are under the supervision of one or both parents, and 75% of them are unnoticed for no more than five minutes. So it only takes a minute. 10 people died each day from drowning in the U.S., and 26% are children ages one to four. But there are some simple steps that you can follow to avoid this tragic loss. For most of us, summer is for barbecues, swimming, and backyard fun. But while we're having fun, there is a danger lurking, and it can happen very, very quickly. There's nothing like cooling off in a backyard pool during the hot summer months. But that pool can be a big danger for children, especially the little ones. In fact, sadly, accidental drowning is the number two cause of death nationwide for children under the age of five years old. And here in Rancho Cucamonga, 19 children have died as a result of drowning since the year 2000. Dozens of others have had close calls and had to be rescued or resuscitated. The simple fact is that little ones, especially those under five years old, are attracted to the water and bad things can happen without anyone noticing. Those children seem to slip out of your eyesight very quickly and very quietly. We do encourage folks, if they own a swimming pool and you have a small child and your child goes missing, check the swimming pool first. And being distracted, even for just a moment, can lead to a tragic drowning. It can happen very quickly in as little as three seconds. And quite often parents believe that they will hear their child struggling in the water if they are in danger. They'll hear a splash, they will hear a scream, but quite often that's not the case. Children actually will slip under the water and struggle for some time without making a sound at all. And while most of us are in the water during the summer months, accidental drowning among children especially can happen at any time. What we found here in California, and specifically in Ranch Cucamonga, is that drownings occur year-round. It's no longer just a summertime thing. And unfortunately, we need parents and caregivers and homeowners with pools to keep that in mind at all times, that that backyard swimming pool can present a very serious danger on a daily basis. With those startling facts in mind, First Five and the Rancho Cucamonga Fire Protection District urge parents and anyone with a pool or spa to know the ABCs of water safety. A for active adult supervision, that we have an adult assigned to be the water watcher. That is their job when the children are in or around the pool. They strictly watch the children when they're swimming and stay within reach of that child in case they do have a problem. The B stands for barriers, so we encourage people that own swimming pools to put either alarms on the doors and windows that lead to the pool area or even an isolation fence around the pool itself. And then the C of ABC stands for classes, both swimming and CPR classes. And while all three of the water safety ABCs are important, adult supervision is crucial. And when it comes to adult supervision of kids around the pool, it can be confusing as to who is actually watching them, especially during a party or other large gathering. So the Rancho Fire Department provides a simple tool to make it easier to keep kids safe. We actually provide these water watcher tags and we encourage adults to wear this tag when they are watching the children in the water, when they have that responsibility. And by wearing this tag, it reminds them of that responsibility. And if they need to leave the pool area for any reason, they will physically take the tag off and hand that responsibility to someone else. And once the kids are in the water and being watched, then there are some other safety tips to keep in mind. Parents need to be aware that not all flotation devices are safe, like this inflatable frog. And the reason he is not safe is because it's not meant to be a flotation device. It will actually easily slip off the child, and because it is inflatable, it can be easily popped. And parents of little ones should also avoid the popular inflatable floaties. But actually floaties are designed to help build confidence for a new swimmer that's learning to swim. These are not meant to keep them afloat on the water. And so we find parents again will rely on these as a security blanket, if you will, and it actually provides a false sense of security. So what should parents of young children and toddlers use around the pool? The Rancho Cucamonga Fire Department strongly urges parents to use Coast Guard approved flotation devices. There's the traditional what we call life vest or a personal flotation device. And then there's this new version uh, more for the younger kids, the toddlers. They, this goes around their waist and then their arms go through these right here. Uh, both of them are designed to 
keep the child afloat based on where their center of gravity is. And you'll notice that unlike the flotation devices I just showed you, these cannot pop. They cannot slip off. They buckle on. They stay pretty secure. And they are U.S. Coast Guard approved. For more information on water safety, you can go to the fire department website or call the fire district public education office. Group presentations are available. I'm David Wiley for Healthy RC Living.